Okay, so today I got a condenser coil to go in this big unit that's up on this roof. I transported it here like that. Got a crane coming at noon and I got a guy helping me, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to record. I guess we'll see. Well, so this is the one right here. The new condenser coil, okay. We had three eighths bolts there right there right there right there okay there's also one that goes down in there it was a pain in the butt to get to so what I did was I valved it off here so that isolated that side coming in and then instead of shutting it off at the king valve right there I valved it off right there so that I could change that out see the old one right there mm -hmm. and then we had this one and that one and those are the only two connections had the crane bring it up to get up over this wall crane was parked out back there got the old one down I don't know what happened here it wasn't like this before it's not cool at all I don't like it one bit it actually still had some pressure in it I'll show you that other coil I got it in the back of my truck right now but the system still had some pressure in it so beyond those valves I still have some pressure of uh, 448A, you see that blue tag there? Mm -hmm. Got the breakers off. Use the rosebud to, uh, you know, to get that apart. We had to wait a long time for this coil to come in. This job was back from July that I originally condemned it. It's for the meat prep area. It's got about three evaporators on it. And, uh, Yep, they finally approved it, and we're getting it done. So we're about to put it on a vacuum. Running the you know, electric cord to the nearest outlet. We'll put it on a vacuum. Let it vacuum for a good hour, maybe. I got to go get some refrigerant. Probably about 75 pounds, 100 pounds of 448A that I'm going to get. 448A. And start it back up. And it's gonna do just fine. Like I said, couldn't get very much footage because I got another guy here working with me, helping me. So, kinda gotta do it a little differently. But, it's not much to these, man. You know, it can be done. If you think you can't do it, you're probably wrong. It can be done. Don't be scared. So this is a top view of the job. The crane parked right back there. That's the loading dock. And he craned my coil right there. And then he took my old one down. Coil's just a little too heavy to rope up with a rope. Now, unfortunately, I had a bad compressor. Now, I usually always make sure that that's not going to happen. And I don't run into this, but I didn't on this one. You see, we're pulling 18 amps and our RLA is 48.2. Something's wrong in that compressor because it wasn't pumping at all. Now, this is really a stupid problem to have. And it's worth noting that I originally bid this job and condemned this coil and tested everything last July. So I think that matters a little bit. It had a long time to be able to fail. But I should have checked it again yesterday so that this did not happen to me. So don't let it happen to you. Have a good Saturday.